so hi guys i hope i'm going to be quick so i wrote on my facebook that i want to do a video called uh, modern day pharisees uh, masking as followers of jesus christ and the reason why i wanted to do it was because of this poster behind me i posted this uh in the early hours 3 a.m this is a fast that god told me about for the breath in your godly purpose movement it is a group uh or a movement under tm Makwani ministries which is the church beyond four worlds a mandate that god has given me to teach about uh the importance of birth in your godly purpose and mandate so we had already spoken about it about how we're going to go into this fast from the 21st uh to the 27th of uh april so now god uh told me to extend the invite on social media so as you would have it those people they will always say stuff <laughs> right and god was just ministering to me about the modern day pharisees masking as followers of christ what do i mean by that in the bible you will see the pharisees were people who were learned about the word um the scroll they knew everything they were like sort of theologians and at that time uh they would uh debate with jesus <laughs> about the word imagine debating with the word about the word like jesus came to fulfill the word the bible tells us in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was god and him in flesh here is the word and you are here trying to tell the word what the word is supposed to do or what the word says so that what the pharisees used to do the miracles that jesus used to perform they used to debate everything that jesus did they would always debate it because they thought they knew better and god was like nowadays uh the world is so full of modern day pharisees masking as followers of christ people will come and debate about the word of god uh, uh, or what christ is saying or what god is saying and most of the time out of context so now this fast it is a corporate fast in the bible we see in the book of esther the famous book we see also in uh, chronicles and even in kings where kings used to uh, summon people when there was something happening and they were saying let's go into a fast and call everyone now with a corporate fast i don't know how any other way that a corporate fast can be a corporate fast without announcing it everyone had to announce letters were written as uh, people had to be summoned to do a corporate fast right uh like they would even go as as big as announcing it you know on top of mountains and everything to make sure people would know imagine if esther wanted all the jews to to fast but uh she only told her and mordecai and not everybody else how would people know that they had to go to a fast so when i talk about modern day pharisees i talk about people that think that they know the word so much that they debate everything that god is doing and forgetting god himself uh, they think they know everything about christ but forgetting what christ and who he is when jesus left this earth he said you will, greater things will you do than i did uh people think the bible like just ended with those books that we read but every day we live our lives as children of god born again blood bought by jesus christ it is the continuation of the bible the bible was just showing us uh the map of how we should live our life but he said greater things how are we supposed to do greater things than he did if we think the miracles only ended in the bible if we think the only type of miracles god can perform is the miracles he did in the bible imagine elijah elijah god provided for him through a widow if it was today's times people would be like yo look at this prophet taking advantage of widows uh, now because that woman lost her husband now elijah is there <laughs> this prophet but now we read about it as this beautiful story where god uh, after providing elijah with ravens after provision using ravens uh, some would even say it's witchcraft huh? uh, but now god uses a widow to provide for elijah and elijah to provide for the widow for god's miracle to 
to take place when when you look at the new testament because some will be like ah that's the old testament the new testament look at what paul and peter and all the apostles how they used to drastically move you know a shadow of a person healing people uh when uh the, the apostle would tell people you're gonna die now and people fall dead and they die and people nowadays they will be like hi hey, even your pastors this christianity thing it's killing people and it will be the same people who say they are christians trying to debate with the word uh what i'm trying to say is god speaks to us individually in different ways and I understand that the word of God, that there's a scripture where Jesus say, when you pray and fast, don't let anyone know, right? That's when it's your fast. It is God, a someone in you alone. But when it's a corporate fast, it is open for everyone. And the reason why I said people who want to join must secretly tell me because I understand the, the way how a fast is supposed to go think people would think people say things or do things and we debate without understanding context and without understanding them the instruction god gave that particular person to do and we think we are speaking on behalf of god we think we know it all uh, or, or that prayer where the, uh, god said we shouldn't be like hypocrites uh praying in in the corners for everyone to see but does that mean we shouldn't be doing outreaches we shouldn't be praying and doing crusades or doing open airs no he's saying the motive the most important thing jesus tried to teach us was about motive why are you doing what you are doing there are times where you have to corporately come to join together and pray and fast or just pray or worship and there's times where you have to go into your secret place alone without everyone knowing and praying let's take for instance charity work uh people would be like hi why are you posting but most of the time when it is like non-profit organizations the only way people can help you is when they see the work that you've done so it requires pictures like imagine gift of the givers and not showing us what they are doing do you think they would be as big as they are or reaching as many people as they are today but then when it's between you and god and you're helping someone then yes keep it in secret so let us understand context let us uh understand the word in content let us not just try to uh, put scriptures there and think we we are speaking on behalf of God. Instead, we are being modern day Pharisees thinking we are the followers of Christ. Because even when Jesus was supposed to heal, they said, why are you healing on the Sabbath? I mean, the healer is here, the great physician, the miracle worker is here and telling a person you are healed or your sins are forgiven. And now you are trying to crucify him because when you know the word. Do you see how thinly we can lose it? Like, and I think I can talk about it because I'm also a theologian. So, uh, eh, so it's not like I'm attacking theologians or people who have read the Bible or whatever. But what I'm trying to say is, nowadays there's people who think they know the word so much that that they are denying God of being God. They are denying Holy Spirit to do what He wants to do. Take, for instance, when Jesus was healing that blind man, he, he spit on the ground, took that soil and put it on his eyes, telling the person, go to the river and wash. Nowadays, people will be like, I, Satanism, <laughs> you know, it's witchcraft because we think we know better. So there are so many people now, there's a special on social media that are actually Pharisees people who are actually fighting the movement of the work of christ and thinking that they are doing the work of god so yeah join us for the three days prayer and fasting 25 to the 27th of march it is a corporate fast and yes people who are joining will be kept secret only the people in the group will know what they are doing or who they are and we do it as jesus said and we are going to see god in a miraculous way because it is he who said i should do this and i'll post more about this topic soon i think i've said enough now but there's so many things i need to say about this but god bless you let us not try to stop the movement of god because uh we think we know scripture and we throw it everywhere let us take time before we comment on something and really reflect and be in context and then comment love you <laughs>